Enforcement Channel here. Oh, today is uh, going to be a fun video. It's really just talking about water methanol injection and is it worth it? Uh, right off the top of my head, I think yes. But, you know, I'm going to let you guys tell me what you think, uh, what I've done, and, you know, let you guys be the judges of it. So, as you know, this is a 2009 Shelby GT500. Um, in this particular year, they did not come with knock sensors. Um, so, it makes any aggressive tuning with it, to me, a little bit more difficult. Um, so, for example, now that I have water meth, um, I'm not tuned to it because I don't have knock sensors and I was always afraid that if my pump went out, um, you know, then I'm, I'm out of a motor. So uh, that's kind of where I've been with it. Um, I had it dynoed uh, with the methanol injection hooked up and with the methanol injection not hooked up. And the person who dyno dynoed it was uh, Justin with BMP. I'm sure you guys know who that is. Um, I got the, the clip here I'll show you in a minute um, but yeah my personal feeling is is that um, I'm gonna let you know I, I, it's just a hard it's a hard toss-up because I did it mostly as a cooling additive um, I lost horsepower when I put the methanol injection on it you know it, it, it lost horsepower I lost 15 horsepower because I had like on the same dyno a dyno at 516 to the tire with methanol and then I unplugged the fuse for it and it dynoed at like 531 so like I said it's not tuned for it um, now Justin did say that he thinks my nozzle uh, was too big and that I was in my boost setting for the, the uh, pump to activate like it was coming on too soon so I did however put the other smaller nozzle on and um, I set my for the pump to come in uh, way later. I think it's at like nine pounds of boost now. So it, it is set up that way now. Uh, it's just you know I'm wanting to know. I mean, do you guys think I should to, should, I, should I just take the dick gamble and tune it to the methanol? And you know everyone says those pumps are pretty solid and it shouldn't fail whatsoever. So I'm just kind of between a rock and a hard place. It's like, do I do it? You know, do I not? It's just, it's, it's hard to determine, so. All right, guys, we're here with BMP. They're gonna tune this Shelby GT500 of mine. And I got, you know, a sick tuner, Mr. Justin. Justin, <laughs> wanna... <laughs> wanna say anything to the camera there, Justin? No, um, yeah, I'm gonna dyno this GT500. Uh, it's got a mail order tune in it from us, and um, a lot of rip to see what it makes. Heck yeah, man. Disconnecting that was the right move. Really? Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> on the first pull it made 516 rear wheel horsepower and it just didn't really pull that clean. Oh, okay. So, I know you've got that water meth kit on it. Yes. And uh, we disconnected the fuse for the water meth kit. Uh, it went up to 531 rear wheel horsepower. Really? Okay. Yeah, I mean, at this power level, this car, I don't know that it really needs water meth. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's it's tough because you're you're putting water and methanol, so you put something that burns and also something that doesn't burn. Correct. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm kind of torn on water meth kits. Gotcha. And uh, I don't want to say that you know it's necessarily the water meth kits' fault. It's kind of the situation. If this car had more power and we leaned out the tune a little bit to account for the water meth adding fuel it's actually okay you know we might have been a little better off but uh you know the way it sits right now 531 without the water meth injection hooked up 
which gotcha. is a pretty solid number for you know the full times that you've got done to this GT500. Okay, good to know. Very good to know. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it, man. You're welcome. So, anyways, yeah. Tell me what you guys think. Um, like I said, you know, it's, it's not tuned to it right now. Should I? Should I do it? Should I not? Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna think, you know, just go E85. Well, you know, that might be an option in the future. But right now, I've already got the methanol kit installed. Um, oh, and that's another thing. Should I? You know, my, my ratio right now is 50-50. Uh, I'm actually using the Snow Performance, uh, I think they call it Boost Juice. So I'm using that. 